don't stop clapping. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. I say, this is the day. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. If you would give me just a moment of your time, I'm going to ask that you rest on your feet as we go to the Word of God in our scripture. Our scripture reading will be found in Psalms, the 27th division. Psalm, Psalm, the 27th division. When you have it, say, I have it. If you're looking, say, I'm looking. Somebody need to be looking. Come on, somebody. If you have it, say, I have it. Psalms 27, and it reads just like this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. For one thing, somebody say one thing. I have I have I desire of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. God's word for God's people. Can we talk to the Father just for a little while? Gracious and kind Father. God, it's again we do come to say thank you. God, we thank you for this opportunity that you have allowed us, oh God, to stand before you just to give you praise. God, we thank you for everything we needed. God, your hand has already provided. Because from the rising of the sun, God, you were making provision. Oh, God, when we got up this morning, God, we had everything that we needed and more than what we deserve. So we just want to say thank you. We want to thank you, God, because even though we may have had some trials and some tribulations, even though we had some ups and downs, God, you were still being king of kings and you were being Lord of lords. Even when there was sickness, God, you were being the master of physician. That somebody might know that by your very stripes, we are already healed. And God, we just want to say glory to your name. So God, we pray that you will just gather in all of our scattered thoughts. Anything that's not like you, God, we ask that you cast it out of here in the name of Jesus. Because we did come to worship you. We did come to bless your name. We did come to give you praise. We did come to we did come to say hallelujah. For we know that is the highest praise. So God be manifested in this place. God be lifted in this place. God be glorified in this place. Because you are worthy, God. And you're worthy to be praised. So God, we say thank you. But because you're good. God, we say thank you. Because you're kind. We say thank you because you're forgiven. We say thank you because you're a keeper. You're a miracle worker. You're a promise keeper. You're a heart victim. You're a mind regulator. And God, we love you on today. Thank you, God, for loving us. 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 Thank you, God, for forgiving us. Thank you, God, for keeping us. God, we just give you glory. Now, God, we pray that everything we say, sing, preach, play, and do will be to give you glory and to give you praise. What's in the blessed and the matchless name of Jesus. Them that agree with me, can you put your blessed hands together? Can you say hallelujah? Can you give God the fruit of your lips? Can I say, can you give God the fruit of your lips? I know you work today. I know you might have had some things, but can we really give God some praise? Anybody glad God kept you down that highway? Anybody glad that God kept you safe? Anybody glad that God gave you peace in the midst of your storm? Do I have any delivered folk? Do I have any healed folk? Hallelujah. I will bless you. 
bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless me, oh. Can we take a moment and worship the Lord together? Holy, bless his name. If you know what, I invite you to sing that along with us this evening. Oh, say I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all, and all that is within me, bless his soul, bless his soul. His holy name. We're gonna sing that one more time, and I invite you to bless the Lord in your own way this evening. Oh, I will you bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Head on. That he is within me. Bless his holy name. And this is the part where you can testify to somebody on your road and simply say, he has done great things. Let's testify about it. Say, he has done, he has done great things. If that's your testimony, can you lift your hands today? He has done great things. one more time and then we're going to move on. Oh, say he has done say he has done Oh, come on. Can you testify on your God? Can you brag on your God and say he has done great things? If he's done great things, can you celebrate that? I said, if he's done great things, can you celebrate that? Hallelujah. We're going to put our hands together right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Everybody, come your head. It's a real familiar song. It's a real happy song, so you got to sing it with some joy this evening. Here we go. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord with me. Whom the sun. We're going back to the top again. Say magnify the Lord. the sun he has redeemed. Why don't you clap your hands? You are the Lord of everything.
tonight. I will bless them. good and he's been real kind. That's why we bless him. Say, bless the Lord. Because he's wonderful and kind and he's faithful. So we bless the Lord. Hey. Lift up the Lord tonight. Bless the Lord, sir. I might be tired in my body, but I command my body to bless him. Bless the Lord, sir. I might have went through some trials and some tribulations, but he gave me victory, so I will. We're going to take one more clap break right here. Everybody clap, 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 clap. Oh. Hallelujah. Here we go. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's He has done great things. He has done great things. 
He has done great things. He has done great things. that you feel welcome at this point because the God of great things has come to welcome you into the sanctuary. I'm here to do a formality, but this is the Lord's house. And so the King of Kings came to welcome you. The Lord of Lords came to welcome you. El Shaddai came to welcome you. Your healer came to welcome you. Your Savior came to welcome you. Your deliverer came to welcome you, to welcome you, to welcome you. What is he welcoming you to? He's welcoming you to great things. Tell somebody, I'm stepping into great things. Oh, come on, pass it down your road. Say, I'm stepping into great things. Great things, great things. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Listen, on behalf of our wonderful pastor, our illustrious pastor, amen, Pastor Robert J. Tillman, amen, and all of us here at the Oak Grove Baptist Church, we want to take this opportunity to welcome you into the Lord's house. Hallelujah. Listen, we invite you. You don't have to hold down the pews because we bolted them down real, real good. So I promise you, they're not going to go nowhere. So I invite you to, if you think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he's done for you. Because I know normally you wait for a certain time in the service to praise him. But in this house, praise can break out at any given moment. Because we are a thinking people. And when we think about it, we thank him. So you came into a thinking house that when you think on the goodness of Jesus, you have our permission to thank him. So let's just take a practice run right here. Take about five seconds and think about how good God has been. And after you're done thinking about it, thank him. 
while you're thanking him, keep thinking. And while you're thinking, keep thinking. And while you're thinking, keep thinking. And if you keep right on thinking, you're going to keep right on thinking. And the more you thank him, the more he's going to do to you. So whatever you need, it's not supposed to thank you. Whatever door you open, it's not supposed to thank you. Whatever healing you need, it's not supposed to thank It starts. All right. It starts with a thank you. So I welcome you to thank him. I welcome you in the name of the Father to thank him. In the name of the Son, thank him. In the name of the Holy Spirit, for every trial he's brought you over, for every mountain he's brought you over, every trial he's seen you through, for every blessing, I welcome you to say hallelujah. And for this, take your neighbor, and for this, tonight we're giving God praise. We don't have to wait for the benediction. We don't have to wait for the offering. But right here in this moment, for this, I want to give him. You're welcome. Oh, come on. Take about five seconds and put your hands together. And let's give God a thank you praise. Oh, come on. We're going to take about 36 seconds. And we're going to give God a thank you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. We got somebody with a thank you on the floor. Clap your hands. But congratulations. And you're like, what am I congratulating you for? Because every time the enemy wanted to take you out, he lost. Every time the enemy wanted to defeat you, he gave you a victory. Tell somebody congratulations. Because for every defeat, Jesus gave me a victory.
All the victorious people have a seat. All the overcoming people ought to shout glory. Hallelujah. Listen, we're going to get ready to take up our offering. We're going to have our officials to come at this time that are going to take up our offerings. You can stay just from you stay right there. Because what better way to sow a seed tangibly is when you are giving a seed of praise. I said, what better time to sow a tangible seed than when I'm in the middle of getting my harvest together? Because, you know, every time you put your feet on the floor, that's a deposit on the harvest that is coming to you. Hallelujah. Listen, we have several ways to give. If you give electronically, the giving ways are on the screen for those of you that are in our virtual sanctuary. Can we take a moment and celebrate our virtual audience? Amen. We are thankful for you. If you would, amen, if you would take a moment and share this with someone, even if you're in the sanctuary, go ahead and get on your phones. Go to the broadcast and share this. Amen. Because something extraordinary is happening here. This is not just church as usual. But something extraordinary is happening in this room. And we don't want anybody to miss it. Hallelujah. Amen. You can give via Cash App at Dollar Sign Oak Grove Church. You can give via PayPal at theoakgrovechurch.org. You can give via Givelify. If you search for Oak Grove Baptist Church, you will see an emblem, amen, that is similar to this one, amen, and you can give that way. If you need an envelope, if you would, raise your hand, amen, and our wonderful ushers will be more than happy to assist you, amen. Listen, whatever that gift is, once you have gotten that, even if it's electronic, if you will, rest on your feet, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once you have that in your hand, amen, put it in your right hand because we give God what's right and not what's left. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you for this opportunity to sow. God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you continue to give seed to the sower. And God, we thank you because we sow this seed tonight that, God, we can expect a wonderful harvest. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that this harvest shows up not just in our wallets, but let it show up in our children. Let it show up on our jobs. Let it show up in our bloodline. Let it go to our houses now and make all things well. In the name of your son, Jesus, we do pray. Amen. If you would face the outer aisles, amen, if you would face the wall, amen, and you are in the hands of our ushers, amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen, can you do me a favor? Amen. Can we rest on our feet as we receive the set man of this house? Amen. None other than our pastor, Pastor Robert J. Tillman. Clap for him as he comes. Come on, give God praise in this house on today. Come on, that wasn't a suggestion, that was a command. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. While your hands are going, your lips ought to be moving. Shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Come on, Zion. This is the day the Lord has made. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like revival in the house on tonight. We shall rejoice. Look at your neighbor and say, we're going to do this thing together. I said, we shall rejoice. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. On your way down to your seat, tell somebody around you, I feel like having church on tonight. Come on, put some wind in your chest. Come on, say it with your chest. That wasn't the right person. Look at somebody and say, I feel like having church tonight. and greatly to be praised. <laughs> Hallelujah. And all, I, I like to oftentimes just make sure I'm in the right house for what I really came for on tonight. Hallelujah. I am believing that we are, God has shifted us to a season that we have to be intentional about what we say and what we do and where we go. Come on in here, somebody. I don't believe I'm not just coming to church on a Wednesday night after working all day just to be coming. I saw a few hands go up over here. Thank you, Free Will. I said, I didn't come to church. I didn't get, I didn't get out of work and go home and put on clothes to come to church just to be coming. I oh, mean, I could have stayed at home and looked TV and looked at people. I came to worship the Lord. I came to praise him in the beauty of holiness. I came to magnify the Lord with my fellow brothers and sisters. I came to be ignited on tonight in our Ignite Revival 2024. It is in this revival service that we are absolutely 100% believing God amen to ignite his people hallelujah and i don't care what church you're a member of i said ignite his people come on in here i don't care if it's the baptist church the Kojic church the lutheran church the umb church i said ignite his people amen because at the end of the day it's one lord it's one faith and one baptism oh i thought i'd get some real sanctified folks to give me hallelujah so when all god's children get together amen, i believe we can have a time it is in these services that we are pulling on the horns of the altar and we are looking for God to do great and mighty things. Amen. Amen. And set our souls on fire. Hallelujah. You renew our passion and our zeal. Amen. For him. It's April. It's April. It's April. And April is almost gone. But even in April, in these first four months of the year, amen, some of us have grown weary and grown tired. But I believe that in these services that God is doing great things through his people. Amen. Amen. As the preachers of God said, thank you. Can we clap our hands for our preachers on tonight? Thank you, Elder Hester. Thank you, Elder Greg Hester. Thank you, Elder Barbara Hester, for leading us this far in our service. Can we clap our hands for the music ministry on tonight? Hallelujah. Thank God for the Levites who came to usher us in. Hallelujah. And lead us into this place. And I am excited on tonight. I am excited. Hallelujah. Uh, how God has just brought us all together. Excited. From the parking ministry to the officers. Thank you. Thank you to the ushers, the sound ministry. Thank you, everybody. Because I'm not getting back up after this. After this. I am excited about the preach word on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am so thankful to God that he has sent us a preacher. How can we hear without a preacher? And how can he preach unless he's been sent? And I'm excited, I am excited to come to know this man of God who is not pastoring one church, but pastoring two churches. Amen. He is a native of Somerton, amen, South Carolina, where he is pastoring down there, Olden UME Church. Hallelujah. Can we give God praise for them? They're watching in, watching in our virtual sanctuary. Pastor, they got their eyes on you all the way in South Carolina. All the way in South Carolina. Amen. They are watching. But we are especially thankful for his Thomasville Church. Woo. Let me say that one more time to make sure I'm in the right house. I said we are especially thankful for his Thomasville Church. That, there it is. The Free Will UME Church. Come on, clap your hands. Let's celebrate them, old bro. Let's thank God for them. 
Hallelujah. And this is like family. This is like family. Amen. It's so good to see some of my classmates. Hallelujah. Amen. From high school. High school. Hallelujah. Some of my friends and some of my ministry called laborers in the vineyard. Pastor Brenda Jr. It's so good to see you. Hallelujah. And see that God is still being a keeper of his word. I'm not even going to get to call the names, but I just had to say that. And thank God for all of our visiting. Are there any other visiting churches here on tonight? We want to see you wherever you are. Stand if you're representing anybody else, any other church. If you're in here, please stand. We want to acknowledge you. I think Zion Tabernacle Fire Baptist. There it is, holding this church. Hallelujah. Can we thank God for them? Hallelujah. Baptist Church, Brother Damien, thank God for them. Hallelujah. We are so grateful and so appreciative for having you here. Where are all my preachers at? Male, female, preachers, stand so we can see you again. So we can see you. Hallelujah. Pastor Hampton needs to be able to see. That's right. Hallelujah. Pastor Hampton needs to be able to see. In case everybody else gets quiet, he'll know who to throw the mic to. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But we are grateful to have such an amazing man of God in our presence on tonight. And I'm grateful to be able to call him friend. Amen. We have not known each other for a very long time, but I am grateful that God sent him to Thomasville. Amen. To be able to pastor such an amazing people. We are grateful for that. Grateful for that. Amen. Pastor said that the Free Will You and Me Church came to sing on tonight. And so in just a few minutes, when I get through introducing the speaker, amen, we can clear out and they can come. Amen. And they can minister and song here. Amen. And after they finish singing, they can return to their seat. So Pastor can see your faces whenever he's preaching. But he is a preacher of this great gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, let me say that one more time. I said he is a preacher of this great gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm grateful for him on tonight. He's college educated. Amen, amen. He, has, he certainly knows the Lord. I'm not going to talk about him for being an alpha man, but I celebrate him, amen, for being an alpha man. But he's anointed. Amen. He is anointed to carry this great gospel. When I'm having conversation with him, I have to remind him, I'm like, Pastor, can we talk about something else other than church? My Lord, today. Hallelujah. But I love him. I love that we tease each other, but I, I love it even more that he has such a heart for God. Amen. And listen, Oak Grove and those of you who are in our virtual sanctuary, he did not come, amen, from the movie theater. He did not come, amen, from gossip. And he's coming from the prayer chambers. I am so thankful that God has sent us someone, amen, a pastor after his own heart, one who does not mind putting his ear to the pulse and to the heartbeat of God to be able to hear what the Lord has to say to the kingdom, not just to Oak Grove, not just to Free Will, not just to Odin, amen, but to the kingdom of God. And I'm grateful for that, that God has connected us in this vineyard on, to, on tonight, amen. So after the, the choir has come, they can actually come on and start making your way up here, amen. If you can come and start making your way up after the choir has ministered. Come on, free will. Come on. Come on. We excited to hear you on tonight. After the choir has come and they have ministered and sung, the next preaching voice you will hear will be that of Pastor Denzel J. Hampton, senior pastor of the Free Will UMB Church. Amen. And the Olden. Amen. UMB Church. And we are grateful to have him in the place on tonight. Hear ye, hear ye, the man of God. Amen. And while the choir is coming, while the choir is coming, and even those of you who are in the virtual sanctuary, stretch your hand at the screen. Those of us who are here, stretch your hand this way and repeat after me say pastor hampton reach way down pull up everything god has given you to give to us tonight pastor hampton preach the word of god Amen. After free will, you and me has blessed us in song on tonight. The next preaching voice you will hear will be that of Pastor Denzel J. Hampton. Amen. Hear ye, hear thee, the man of God. Clap your hands and receive the music ministry as they come.
this house. Come on, open up your mouth and shout in this place like you know God lives in your soul. Hallelujah. You have to praise him like you know the Holy Ghost resides within you. Hallelujah. That should be some sign or some evidence that you have the Holy Ghost on the inside. Come on, give God praise in this house. Come on, time. The Bible says that the redeemer of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. You've been redeemed by the hand of the Lord. You have to shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God. We praise him. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We thank him and we praise God for his spirit and his anointing. We rest in this sanctuary tonight. We thank God and we honor, amen, the angel of this house. Amen. None other than Pastor Robert J. Tillman. Amen. We bless God for him. great church, Oak Grove Baptist Church, we honor God for you, amen, for all that you have done, amen, to welcome us here tonight to, amen, the portion of free will that is here tonight, we thank God for you, amen, can we clap our hands and honor God, amen, for the members of free will, you in the church tonight, oh, we can do a little better than that, come on, let's clap our hands for free will tonight. for the preacher. Amen. Because we truly believe that there is a word from the Lord. Amen. For God has allowed us to travel tonight all the way from South Carolina. Amen. So we do believe there is something that God wants to say in this house tonight. Amen. So again, we honor each and every one of you. Amen. Shall we uh, pray? Father, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. Dear God, we thank you now, God, for this preaching moment. Father, we pray now, God, that you will speak Oh God, through these lips of clay that you molded from the dust, oh Father, that your people shall hear your word and not mine. Father, we've been praying, now God, that you will hide me behind that old rugged cross, oh God, that they shall see you and not me. Father, now we ask God to release your anointing from heaven like never before. Fill this tabernacle, oh God. Give us a word now, Father, that will allow us to see you more clearly, God. Give us a word tonight, God, that will allow us to follow you more nearly, God. Give us a word now, God, that will allow you to love, love you more dearly, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, when it's all said and done, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. Lord, I put my trust in you, and it's in your son Jesus' name that we do pray. And the saints of God say, Amen. 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 Uh, we want to start tonight in the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter number 37. Amen. Ezekiel chapter number 37. Amen. Starting at verse number one, Ezekiel chapter number 37. We're going to begin reading at verse number one. Amen. Uh, amen. Ezekiel chapter number 37, verse number one. Amen. Understanding tonight that one thing I've learned about Thomas, well, North Carolina is. A lot of people who reside in North Carolina came from South Carolina. Amen. So tonight, we all family tonight. Amen. So y'all help me preach. Amen. I'm no stranger. We all family. Praise the Lord. I'm just a cousin from across the field. Amen. Amen. So y'all help me preach tonight. Ezekiel chapter number 37. Begin reading at verse number 1. And then we'll flip over to Philippians chapter number 1, verse number 6. Amen. The Bible declares, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out. In the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley where which was full of dry bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered O Lord God thou knowest again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay some news upon you, and will bring up, and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and breathe in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. 
So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I behold, I loathe the sinews, and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them about, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and the breath came unto them, and they lived, and stood up on their feet, an exceeding great army. Amen? Amen. Flip over with me, if you will, to Philippians chapter number one. Uh, Philippians chapter number one, verse number six. Philippians chapter one, verse number six. And the Bible says unto us, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. God's word to God's people. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord tonight. Saints of God, I want to... Amen. Tonight, attempt to preach from the sermonic topic, strike the match. Strike the match. Amen. Saints of God, understand that we've all been called to a purpose in God. No matter your background, no matter where you come from, no matter uh, your position in life, no matter your environment, no matter your, your family's reputation, we've all been called to a place in God. The Bible even declares unto us that from whom he predestined, he also called. God had a purpose already or outlined for our life. He already had a destiny already in plans for our life. And so the Bible declares unto us that Paul writes in the book of Romans and tells us, amen, that God calls us. To this destiny. He calls us to this place. He calls us, amen, to this place in him so we will be able to operate and do what thus says the Lord. Saints of God, understand because of this reason we all have a call of God on our life. No matter how you may feel about it, no matter how much you may not want to do the will of God, there is a call of God, amen, for your life. And everybody's call is different. Everybody's call may not be behind the pulpit. Everybody's call may not be at the usher min in the usher ministry. Everybody's call may not be teaching Bible study. But saints of God. There is a call of God for your life to edify the body of Christ. And so God desires saints of God to use you for his glory. He desires, amen, to use you, amen, for a purpose in this earth. That is simply why the reason why we're here today. We're not here by luck. We're not here by chance. We, we're not simply here because your mama met your daddy. We're here because God has a purpose for you in the earth. And so saints of God, it's up to us to live out that purpose so God can be glorified. So the body of Christ can be edified. God wants, amen, to you, uh, for you, for us, really, to uh, live out our purpose so God may be glorified and his word may be shared throughout the earth. The Bible says that God calls us to this place. He, he shares with us that there is something that I want you to do. There is something that I have assigned to your hands. And so the Bible says he calls us there. He, he begins to speak to us. He begins to whisper in our ear. He begins to show us in dreams and visions about the things he desires for us. He begins to uh, even send prophetic word from others, amen, to pour into your heart, amen, to say that I see you where you are, but there's somewhere greater that you have to be. I, I see you living in this place, but I see God shifting and moving you somewhere different. And so the Bible declares that not only does he call you to a place, but because uh, we begin to feel like we're inadequate, because we feel, glory be unto God, that we don't have what it takes, amen, to live up to the plans of God. The Bible even tells us that he justifies us. The Bible tells us that after he calls you, amen, to a place in him that he justifies you. He makes it known that I've called you and I've chosen you and there's nobody in the earth who's going to tell you any different and this is where your, uh, your reputation and your insecurities begin to arise because you feel like God I may not be adequately qualified to do what you've called me to do God I may not have the education background to do what you've called me to do I may not have the experience God to do what you've called me to do but I hear the Bible said that God said I will make you just I will justify 
justify you for this position. In other words, I will make I will make you fit this position. Glory be unto God. I don't care what the requirements may be. God said, because my hand is upon your life. Glory be unto God. I'm going to make sure that no matter what it takes, that you're going to fit this position. Saints of God, I come to tell you today that God is getting ready to justify you for your next level. God is getting ready to justify you for your next place. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, glory be unto God. They may feel that you don't have what it takes to, to carry out the mission. You don't have what it takes uh, to carry this company to the next level. But because the hand of God. Hallelujah. Because the hand of God is upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing that nobody can do about it because the favor of God is resting upon your life. There's nothing or anybody can say about it. Thank you, Jesus. Because once God begins to operate, once God begins to move, glory be unto God, there's no force in the earth that can stop the power of God. Thank you, God. There's no force in the earth that can come against the power of God. And the Bible says that he justifies you. He erases your past. He, he he erases everything that you've been through. He erases your reputation. He erases your rap sheet. Glory be unto God. He begins to give everybody amnesia about what they thought they knew about you. And God said, hallelujah, thank you, Father. I almost feel like preaching in here. Glory be unto God. The Bible says, glory be unto God, because everybody has a way of bringing up your past when you're getting ready to be elevated. Everybody has a way of bringing up your insecurities and your issues and your problems. When he begins to promote you to the next level the Bible says it will be so great to the place where their words will not even matter, their words will fall on deaf ear because God had already predestined this for you God has already made the plan, the, plan, the path plain for you and the Bible says that after he justifies you, the Bible says he will then glorify you, thank you Father, it's a process, thank you God, not only will you get the position but you will produce while you're in the position Yes, Lord, you even produce why you're that because the person who had it before you, thank you, God, didn't do anything with it. The person who had it before you couldn't manifest what needed to be manifest. But the, because the hand of God, because the favor of God and the grace of God is upon you, your life, God said, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll bring productivity from this position. God said, I've called you to this place because this is a season and a time for you. Glory be unto God. It's a time and a season for you to arise from where you are and to do the work of the Lord. Glory be unto God. This is a point in your life where it's time for you to receive what God is calling you to. It's a time in your life. Glory be unto God for you to walk in the ways of God. Thank you, Father. You may not want to do it, but it ain't up to what you want anyway. Because when the hand of God is upon you, glory be unto God. God will direct. God will shift. God will drive you to where you need to be. Thank you, Father. Glory be unto God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And the Bible says to us, the Bible declares, amen, that God glorifies you because he needs all his believers. He needs all his children, hallelujah, to understand that there is nobody who can tell you otherwise when God begins to work in your life. Glory be unto God. You even have people who walk with you every day who don't understand and don't accept the will of God for your life. Thank you, Jesus. And so some of them same folk will be the same ones who try to bring you down. But thank you, God. I'm so glad that we serve of God who's able to rise you up rather than how many people try to bring you down. Thank you Lord Jesus. And the Bible says unto us, glory be unto God after he begins to give us, hallelujah the instructions to do what we need to do. The Bible even tells us, Pastor Tillman, that God will give us a power on the inside of us. Glory be unto God that will give us what we need. Hallelujah to move according to how he wants us to move. Because you can't work the will of God without having the spirit of God. You can't work the will of God without listening to what God wants you to do. You can't work the will of God without having instructions from God. Well, brother pastor, how do I get the instructions? The Bible says you must have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord, you must have the Holy Ghost. Glory be unto God. Jesus said, I'll leave with you a comforter. And he will teach you all things. He will bring back things to your remembrance. He will guide you in all ways. Glory be unto God. Saints of God, understand tonight that as you begin to move the way God wants you to move, glory be unto God, there must be a man, an endowment of the Spirit of God. If you want to stay in the will of God, if you want to stay where God will have you to stay, there must be an endowment of 
of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says unto us, good God Almighty, Acts chapter number one, verse number eight. But after that, the Holy Ghost have come upon you. You shall receive power and you shall be, have power to be my witnesses unto all men and to all places. The Holy Spirit gives you the power. He gives you the endurance to go where God will have you to go, to move where God will have you to move. Glory be unto God. And there will be nothing that will stop. There will be nothing. Hallelujah. That will hinder what God is doing in the earth. Not only will he give you power, saints of God, but Acts chapter number 2 tells us, glory be unto God, that while they were in one place, yes, Lord God, while they were in one place, the Bible says they were all together at 176 East Green Drive. The Bible said they were in one place. Oh, I'm glad you called it preachers. They went over the head, went over the head. The Bible says we were all gathered together at Oak Grove Baptist Church all for a night revival 2024. And the Bible said they were all together on one accord. And the Bible said there came a sound from heaven like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the house. And the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord, it fell on everybody. Glory be unto God. I feel like preaching in here. The Bible says, hallelujah, it fell on everybody in the house. The Bible says it felt like fire. Yes, Lord, the Bible says it felt like fire. Glory be unto God. And everybody began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of the Lord gave them utterance. Glory be unto God. Saints of God, understand tonight. I come to tell you that when the Holy Ghost endows you with His Spirit and endows you with His power, He also endows you with the fire. Glory be unto God. And what does fire do, Reverend Junius? It comes into your heart and it begins to burn away everything uh, that be not of God. Uh, the fire that God gives you uh, it begins to loosen up every tight place. Uh, glory be unto God. Uh, the fire that the Holy Ghost gives you uh, it begins to burn some things off in your life. Uh, you got some leeches up on you. Uh, but by the time the Holy Ghost uh, gets to burning on the inside uh, glory be unto God. Uh, there'll be no more leeches. Uh, Jeremiah said his word was like fire set up in my bones yes Holy Ghost and the Bible says glory be unto God that there was a fire on the inside of Ezekiel glory be unto God that by the time God placed him in the, in the valley of dry bones the Bible says unto us glory be unto God that the Bible says God said son of man said, Lord, you know, but I don't know God, only you know. He said, I need you to do a work for me. I need you to do something for me. He said, prophesy to these dry bones. Glory be unto God. And tell these dry bones that they shall live and not die. Saints of God, I came to tell you tonight that God wants to strike a man. God wants to strike a match in your life. God wants to strike a match in your soul that will never go out. The Bible says that Ezekiel began to prophesy. You are here to God. And as he began to prophesy, bones came together. They began to connect. Father hand, tell your 
Bible says there was an exceeding great army. But I heard Paul say, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can act for faith. Glory be unto God. Not only will God strike a match, but I believe God is going to set this place, set it on fire. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can I preach it the way I feel it? The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. To put it out, but it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn, yes, Lord, until you walk like God, it's gonna burn, until you talk like God, it's gonna burn, until you live like God, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn, to everything begins to look like God.
by the fire you shall come out pure as gold when my gold sinks out. Do I got any gold members in the house? Do I got any gold members in the house? Have you been trapped by the fire? Do I got any gold members in the house? Do I got any gold members in the house? tonight that's why we know him like we know him tonight because he softened our hearts with his fire and the revival just tells us that we just need God to strike another match hallelujah we just need him to strike another match because if truth be told living this life can be difficult living this life can be tiresome and we get to a place, glory be unto God, where we feel like we don't have the energy to keep on going. We get to the place where, glory be unto God, that no matter our titles or positions in the church, sometimes we just don't want to go to church. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me tonight. Hallelujah. You get to the place that some morning, Brother Thompson, you just don't feel like going to the house of God. Hallelujah. So we come to revival for God to strike another match. We need God to strike another match. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We need to be revived. Thank you, God. We need a fresh fire. A fresh fire. A fresh fire. He has the fire. He just needs the sacrifice. He already has the fire. He just needs you. He just needs you. If you want another fire to burn and to keep on burning, he just needs you. Glory be unto God. fresh fire hallelujah a fresh fire because there's no point for us to come to the house of God act like everything is all good try to be all grand and knowing good well that our fire is running dim on the inside and we trying to make it these next eight months on the little fire that we already got. There's something called burnout for a reason. It means because there's no more fire. There's no more fire. But you want the world to think it's all good. You want the folks in the church to think it's all good. But there's no more fire. 
there's no more fire. There's an old song that said, Oh Zion, what's the matter now? You don't sing like you used to. You don't preach like you used to. You don't pray like you used to. Well, Zion is crying because the fire ain't, ain't there no more. Fire is not there anymore. The fire is not there anymore. Hallelujah. Everybody lift your hands real quickly. I believe God wants to strike another match in your heart tonight. I believe he wants to strike another match in your heart tonight. Thank you, God. In every place that don't seem right, I believe the fire of God. I believe the fire of God will give energy to that tonight. I believe the fire of God will make provision tonight. I believe the fire of God will burn away some things tonight. Hallelujah. But you'll have to lay on the altar. You have to lay on the altar. So the fire can consume. A sacrifice can't be burned unless it's on the altar. It can't be offered to God unless it's on the altar. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the Holy Ghost say, bring your sacrifice to him tonight. Whoever you are, whatever you have, whatever you need God to breathe on, to burn away, come to this altar tonight. Come to this altar tonight with your hands lifted all over this room. Come to this altar tonight. Hallelujah. There's a place in your life that you need God to breathe on. You need God to burn. You need God to give you a fresh wind. Glory be unto God. He said, bring that to this altar tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Bring that sacrifice to him tonight. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Sickness, God said, bring it tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every spirit that don't feel like God, bring it tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Confusion, bring it tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Disarray, bring it tonight. Hallelujah. Discombobulation, bring it tonight. Your mind is all over the place and you can't stay focused. Bring it tonight. Hallelujah. Stop holding on to these things that don't belong to you. Hallelujah. But let the fire of God burn it off tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be unto God. Low self-esteem, bring it tonight. Hallelujah. Depression, bring it tonight. Thank you, Father. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. The fire's open tonight. The fire's burning tonight. Hallelujah. He said, get to this altar. Get to this altar. He said, get to this altar. Get to this altar. Get to this altar. Thank you, Jesus. Get to this altar. Get to this altar. Get to this altar. Thank you, Jesus. Get to this altar. Get to this altar. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Problems on your job, bring them tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you tonight. Glory be unto God. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Division in your family, bring it tonight. Father, we thank you. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Misunderstanding, God said, give it to him tonight. Give it to him tonight. Hallelujah. God, I don't understand which way you want me to go. God, I don't understand how you want me to move. Father, we think he said, bring that tonight. Bring that issue tonight. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. He'll take your issues and he'll give you a fire. Father, hallelujah. He will take your problems, glory to God, and he'll give you a fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. 
Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let God do a work in you tonight. Thank you, Father. Let God do a work in you tonight. Let God do a work in you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. From the depths of your spirit, he can give it over to God. He mama mama de bekoto boho, bu mama mama she kada ba de liosia. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. 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 Come on, give it to him. 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 smell smoke, don't be alarmed. He's just burning some things away. Hallelujah. If you see smoke, don't be alarmed. Hallelujah. Don't call the fire department. He done strike a match in this house. Thank you, Jesus.
just want to tell I love you more anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship. Just want to tell.
song is mighty quiet in here. Come on. Come on, Zion. Call on them to your neighbors here. Call on them until the streets hear you. Tell them you love them. Hallelujah. y'all doing in this house, but there's a fire in this place. There's a fire in this place. I don't know. What y'all doing?
not saying you're about to get another building. God said there's an expansion in this place. That I literally see this ministry stretching. 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 It's stretching. Glory to God. There's more work for this ministry. There's more work for this ministry. Hmm. And there, that you all are called to. You're called to more work. More work means going different places. Going different places. Into new territories. New territories. New territories. Just because there's one building, that don't mean the work just stops here. Mm. But I see Oak Grove moving on the move. On the move to new places. expansion into this house. There's an expansion in this house. This revival is getting ready to set off something. It's getting ready to set off something. And my prayer, Pastor, tell me for you tonight, is that by the end of the revival, that God will show you what's to come that God will give you a taste of what's about to happen so not only do you prepare yourself but you prepare the people instruction on how to move glory be unto God for expansion is happening if you believe God tonight come on and clap your hands and give him praise I said come on clap your hands and give the Lord praise come on from the food of your life, come on and clap your hands praise on my right calf. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you tonight.
God, we honor you tonight. Hey, yes, sir. Mm. Thank you, Lord. God, we praise you for what has been done. And God, what you are doing. So, Father, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you now, Father, for what you're manifesting right now on our behalf. Hey, God, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Holy Ghost say, God said, I'm in somebody's workplace right now moving on your behalf. Father, we thank you tonight. I'm restoring order. Yes, Lord. Back in the office. Okay. Yes, Lord. We thank you tonight, Father. And we pray, God, that by your spirit tonight, God, that everything shall be sealed, oh, Father. Everything shall be delivered, God. Everything, God, shall work according to your word, Father, in Jesus' name. And, Father, tonight we pray, God, that there shall be nothing, oh, God, that shall come and steal out fire or put out fire out, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And, Father, right now, we seal our prayer, God. We seal this service, God, with a shout of glory unto you, everybody. Open up your mouth and shout fire. 